There are games that look fair, but if you know the right strategy, you can always win. And we can prove it with mathematics. Look at the first example. We have 20 stones and two players take turns. During each turn, a player can take one, two, three or four stones. And if no stones are left, the last player who made a move wins. Looks like none of the players have an advantage, right? Well, actually, the second player has a strategy which guarantees him a victory. No matter how many stones the first player takes, the second one should always bring the number of remaining stones to a multiple of 5. Let's see how the strategy works. Player 1 makes a move. Player 2 must bring the number of remaining stones down to 15. Player 1 makes another move. Player 2 makes it a 10. Then there are 5 stones left, and player 1 can do nothing to avoid losing. It looks easy now, but try this game with your friend, and make sure he goes first. He will not see the trick. There are other games where infinitely many moves are possible, the game can go on forever and even games where someone wins regardless of the strategy. Consider a chessboard and two players. They place knights on the board one at a time. When every cell on the board is either attacked or occupied by at least one knight, the player who can't make a move loses. Again, there is a 100% winning strategy which uses symmetry. So, we take this point in the middle, and the second player should always reflect the moves of the first player through this point. Why does this strategy work? Well, if the first player is able to put his knight without getting attacked by at least one of the previous knights, the symmetrically placed knight is also going to be unattacked, because its neighborhood is the same. Try this game yourself and prove the winning strategy more rigorously. The next game is interesting because one of the players wins regardless of the strategy. Imagine you have a 5x8 chocolate plate which you can break along the separating lines. You and your friend do this until one of you is unable to break it any further. How can you win? Actually, you only need to make sure that you go first and then it does not matter what you or your friend does you are guaranteed to win. Here is why. Every time you make a new break, the number of pieces increases by 1. And in the end, we will have 40 pieces, requiring 39 breaks. So the first player starts with the first break, then he will do the third, the fifth, and all the old breaks, including 39. So he is the last one to make a move. Please support this video if you want to see other games and learn about exciting strategies.